Hi folks, this week Dee's filming, so it gives me the opportunity to move around a little bit better. Um, and thank you Dee. Um, we like to use our phones and our computers to stay connected these days. And did you know that inside of every one of those computers, and every t inside of every one of those servers, there's a clock. And the clock is used to timestamp the files and, and used to timestamp all the transactions and everything else. And so, um, without that clock, the computer is basically useless. And so, but um, individual computers can function uh, okay relying on their internal clocks, but individual com computer clocks are notorious about something called drifting. They can drift several seconds a day, eventually causing errors in the computer. But the technology uh, was considered close enough when it was developed, and it still basically gets the job done with a few errors along the way. The problem and the errors occur when all these computers are networked together, and their imperfect clocks can't communicate. And so it disrupts the data flow between the devices and eventually brings the whole network down. The solution to this problem was to reference one common clock for everything on the network. The, network's, the network time server uses GPS satellite to grab the universal time coordinated. This one single exact time is used on all devices, not just on that network, but across the world. Everything now depends on this single, super exact, perfect clock. If the network loses its ability uh, to access the clock and maintain true time, it will cease to function properly. Communications begin to shut down, and if bad enough, it brings down the whole network. You may ask yourself, well, Pastor Rob, what, what has this got to do with with the sermon or, or are you just geeking out on us today um, give me a second and I'll explain everything uh, that I want to go everywhere I want to go with this in our sins we are actually like those clunky computers that function on clunky and imperfect clocks drifting away from where we need to be lost and alone God who created all things sent his son Jesus who is perfect and sinless as a blood sacrifice to cover all our sinful imperfections. When, when we accept perfect Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we establish a relationship with Him. He gives us the Holy Spirit, which is our link to Him. The Spirit reminds us about God's Word and guides us, like GPS, with perfect truth and God's perfect timing, like the universal clock. And everything works best when everything in our lives points toward God. Our relationship with our brothers and sisters in Christ are also better. And we work to better together as a church when this happens. And when we take our eyes off of Him and no longer listen to His Word and the Holy, and the Holy Spirit, things start to fall apart. We lose our connection to Him. Disconnected from God, we start to listen to the natural man, the imperfect clock inside us that is prone to sin and the ways of the world. When we do, disaster looks around the corner and it's only a matter of time. Paul points to the connection that we should strive to have with God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And when I came to you, I did not come with eloquence or human wisdom as I proclaim to you the gospel, the testimony about God. For I am resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ. And that's the perfect truth we were talking about. And Him crucified. I came to you in weakness and with great fear and trembling. Sometimes I mess up these messages too and I come with fear and trembling. My message and preaching were not with wise and pervasive, persuasive words, but with a demonstration of the Spirit's, and that's our connection with God, power. And so that your faith might not rest on human wisdom, 
that clunky worldly clock inside of us, but on God's power, which should drive our entire lives, all that we do, and all that we are. We do, however, speak a message of wisdom among the mature, but not the wisdom of this age or of the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing. And that's that clunky clock inside of us again, the natural man. And so then it goes on and says, and so we declare God's wisdom, and that's that central truth behind all things, a mystery that is hidden and that God destined for our glory before time began. None of the rulers of this age understood it. Now, they were disconnected because they didn't have the Holy Spirit. For if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. However, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love Him. They were disconnected. No Jesus, no Holy Spirit. The Spirit, our connection to God, searches all things, even the deep things of God, our single and perfect point of reference, the creator of all things. For who knows a person's thoughts except for their own spirit within them? In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God, the single point of truth, except the Spirit of God, our connection to God. What we have received is not the spirit of the world, that clunky, error-ridden internal, internal clock, the natural man, but the spirit who is from God, our connection to God, so that we may understand what God has freely given us, not just in eternal life through His Son, Jesus Christ, but an eternal relationship, our connection with Him. That is why, this is what we speak, not in words taught by human wisdom, but that's that clunky clock inside of us again, but in words taught by the Spirit, our connection to God. Explaining spiritual realities with, spiritual with Spirit taught words, from a perfect heavenly father a person without the spirit that's the one that's disconnected from God does not accept the things that come from the spirit of God but considers them foolishness because they're listening to the natural man that faulty internal clock and they cannot understand them because they are discerning only they are discerned only through the spirit which is our connection to God the person with the Spirit, again, our connection, or our GPS, makes judgment about all things. But such a person is not subject to merely human judgments, for who has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ, connected to God through the Holy Spirit, we begin to see things in a different light. We start to grasp His truth. These are the things revealed by the Spirit. So now it's time for a little self-examination. Where is your life focused right now? Is your focus on yourself and that clunky internal clock? and the things of this world? Is your heart drifting away from God? Have you stopped listening to the Holy Spirit? Have you stopped spending time in His Word? Are you experiencing something like Jesus described in Mark 4, 19, when He says, the desires for other things come in and choke the Word, making it unfruitful? Have you isolated yourself from Him? Have you turned a deaf ear? Have you started to distance yourself from your brothers and sisters in Christ? Have you stopped going to church? Have you stopped praying? Or when you do pray, and it's not very often, is it usually just a quick one without much conviction? Is your life spiraling out of control? 
control. Is sin now your first choice? Have you forgotten what it's like to feel close to God? Have you questioned whether or not you really ever had a connection with Him? Are you having doubts? Where can you turn? God is still God. He hasn't left you. Hebrews 13, 5 tells us, God's, God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. If anyone has broken ties, it is you. It's time for you to connect with Him once again. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Follow His lead in all you do. Spend time in His Word. Spend time in His presence in prayer. Linger there. Live there. Listen to Him. Trust Him. Stay in His will. Jesus says in John 10.10, 10, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. Experience the abundant life that He wants to give. Stay connected. Folks, I miss all of you. Stay safe. I love you. Take care. And God bless.